Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the newcomers, and uh, it's time for Mailbag Monday. The weeks are flying by. Always. I know. Today, I was, uh, well, this is a Friday. I was working at Bargains and Blessings, and uh, Christmas things are over here, and now we have Easter things out. And I'm going, what? Already? <laughs> well, you know, this has kind of evolved into a regular television production, and it takes me much of the weekend to get it all together so yeah. we can put it out by 7 a.m. on Monday. So that's why we're yeah. we're yeah. working on a Friday here, but uh, we're having fun. Yeah, we are. On today's show. Why did we move to the villages? Good question. And scams are robbing seniors like never before. And solar tubes add light to your home, but do they leak? All that and more. Hit it, Wally. Send us your questions. We've got your answers. Jerry and Linda's Mailbag Monday. Last week, we put out a special call. We At this time in the show, we said... Hey folks, a lot of you think you're subscribed, but you're not. We've been getting emails and reports that people think that they're on our subscription list, but you're not. For some reason, people yeah. dropped off and a lot of people thanked us and got back on. Yeah. And it was a good week for us. So thank you all for yes. subscribing. That means a lot to us. And we also get a request every couple of days about t-shirts. We got, I think we have 15 different colors of our shirt. And I want more. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. Uh, we don't sell them. We never have. But you can get them at Custom Apparel. That's up on Wedgwood Lane, uh, right here in the villages. You'll order it and pick it up right there. You can order it online and pick it up in the store, or they'll mail it to you. But Custom Apparel, and uh, we'll have that link in our yeah. video description. There you go. We sure hope you enjoyed the cruise video. We met some amazing people on our cruise, and uh, we're looking forward to meeting up with them again. Yeah, we're going to have a get-together here pretty soon. <laughs> You know, that cruise, uh, we, we, that buffet video, lots of people liked it. It was just some music set to me going around there and, and videoing all the food on the cruise ship. And it, yeah. the food on a cruise ship is one of the biggest things you can do. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's why you go. You, you, <laughs> yeah. You're back in the swing, though. You're cooking yeah, again. Yeah, I'm cooking again. I'm trying, though, to lose a couple of pounds that I gained on the cruise, but uh, a little bit more lettuce, salads, and uh, less sugar. <laughs> they had a fantastic staff. I mean, that's that's one of the things. I mean, they have a, yeah. a dining room you can go to if you choose, yeah. where, you know, they have the white tablecloths and the yeah. napkins over right. their arms. And right. <laughs> your every wish is their command. Right. And it's just great. But they're from everywhere. They're from Ghana. They're from Sudan. They're from India. They're from Philippines. Bangladesh, the Philippines, Thailand. Canada, Azerbaijan, every, anywhere you can think of. And uh, the, the supervisor in the dining room, I said, uh, she was a big blonde, look, kind of looked like uh, 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 Queen Lagatha on the Vikings, you know. I <laughs> uh, said, uh, Do you, can you tell me where you might have any fudge? <laughs> I know fudge. Uh, and uh, she said, fudge? She I, said, I think she was from Sweden or some Scandinavian country. Cause and how do you describe fudge? I mean, I'm uh, well, you know, I kind of tried to describe it. She took me to a granola bar. <laughs> so uh, these, these yeah, are. There's no comparison. Granola no. bar fudge, mm, fudge. But what a great gig for yeah, a kid yeah. or a young person mm -hmm. to work on a cruise ship, yeah. and all those people from all over the world. And you know, I'm not making light of her because she didn't she didn't speak English as well as us, of course. No, but she, but then we don't speak whatever she was. Right, and she ran the um, buffet and she also ran the restaurants she was yeah. like big in charge of all the food it was pretty amazing yeah it was wonderful yeah. and uh yeah we're looking forward to going back we're going to alaska in uh july yeah we are all right yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right speaking of food linda dunk some well i'll just let uh, you talk let about let me it. tell you the story <laughs> okay how many of you out there uh men or women, when they cook and they cook hamburger, they drain off the grease, right? Well, I have a habit of using a mug. I just like to put the extra grease and spoon it back in here, and then it solidifies and gets all hard, and then you can just scoop it out and put it in your garbage can and whatever. So I did this this week in this cup, and then Jerry got out some cookies, and they just were tempting. So I decided, okay, I'll have some too. So I went over to the cabinet, got out a mug, and to put the uh, milk in uh, to dunk my cookies in because that's what we like to do. And I got out this mug. So I laid it on the kitchen counter, turned around, and uh, poured the milk, 
turned around and got sidetracked and I picked up this mug that had the bacon, the hamburger grease in it. Didn't realize it. Went over to the couch, sat down, got out the cookie and went boom, right down in the hamburger grease. That was a rude How awakening. did it taste? That was a rude awakening. Well, I knew when my cookie wouldn't go down very fast, easy, I went, what's wrong with this milk? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No, I did not eat it. But you know, we used to use that grease and you dump bird seed in it. We made suet. Remember that? Yeah. And we yeah, put it out yeah, for the birds yeah. back in Indiana. We haven't done that down here. No. No. It would melt quickly. <laughs> and we had a Super Bowl contest. Uh, I just, uh, actually, my oldest son, it is a, her oldest Our son, too, oldest son. Um, said, why don't you have a contest? I said, great idea. So we put out the thing. If you guess the correct score, we'll, we'll uh, yeah. give you a, a, Vill a Villages Newcomers t-shirt, and we'll take it to you. And we had 800 entries. Oh, my God. And I was scrolling those scores. Well, did and, you uh, say only in the villages? What if they were anywhere? Well, I would have mailed it if Kentucky. it was if it was somebody else. Yeah. But we had a winner, and we decided to play our publisher's clearinghouse uh, Ed McMahon kind of thing and go knock on his door and give yeah. him his T-shirt. So yeah. here it is. As you know, we had a Super Bowl contest. We ask viewers on our on our Facebook page to guess the final score. That's right. And we had over 800 entries. A lot of scrolling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and we did not have a single winner. We had one person that did it correctly and guessed Kansas City 25, San Francisco 19. That's the closest we got. So he's going to be our winner. His name is Warren Reynolds. And we're like Publishers Clearinghouse today. We're going to go up and knock on his door. You were the only person that had uh, Kansas City 25. Wow. And uh, they did it again, didn't they? Yes. I, yeah. You know what I did? I actually just took last year's score, 25, which is a weird number yeah. when you think of football. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, well, I'll pick that. There you so go. There it is. It, it did it. So. She wanted to tell you about some makeup she bought. Okay, I have another pet peeve. Well, a pet peeve. We talked to you a few weeks ago about a, a dinosaur truck that we bought our grandkids, and miss that was we were misled by the size of it. So, well, we didn't do our our research either. We didn't look at the the, the size of it. But anyway, I went to the uh, drugstore this week and got some more mascara. Women, we always need our mascara, right? So, always get the same kind every time. I love these. I use them all the time. So one was new one was old and I thought oh this is the old one I'm going to try the new one today I'll put this down so when I get I went to it and looked at it I was look closer and I will have to put on my glasses for this I happened to see how much content how much volume what's in this how much and that one is okay this one is 0.34 fluid ounces and that one is 0.43 so one is 0.43 and the other is 0.34. So the newer one has less in it and probably costs more. And they look exactly the same. I was so mad. I'm going, hey, they're cutting out. Shrinkflation is what they call it. Yeah, shrinkflation. Shrinkflation. I was All right. a little Th bit miffed. Thank okay. you for that. You don't want to get her mad, people. No, you don't. Uh -uh. No, you don't. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we told you about our freezer lost power. We lost all the food in our freezer. Remember that? So many people were concerned and said, what happened? What happened? And, yeah. and you don't want it to happen to you. It was a GFI breaker, and it was not only tripped, it was a bad breaker. So we had Electrics. That's a local yeah. Yeah. electric company. I, I love those guys. They are Johnny on the spot. They came. They fixed it. What they did was go into the breaker box, run a line up into the attic of the garage, over and down through the wall and put in a dedicated line for that freezer mm -hmm. so that won't happen anymore. It turns out that freezers are notorious for blowing breakers. Okay. So now I think we're safe. Yay. You know, we got to get those White Castles back in there, <laughs> those banquet, uh, <laughs> what is it called, Salisbury Steak yeah. dinners. 
Uh, all those, all the good stuff and just, ice cream. Uh, ice cream. I'll go for the ice cream. Okay. We also had a lot of people that w were concerned about old Jer here mm. and uh, wrote in to say, man, you're killing yourself. You know, you're eating yeah. too much sugar. You're eating too much salt. You're, you yeah. know, your spam and your bologna and your Salisbury steaks. And I know that. I know, I know that I shouldn't eat all that stuff. But yeah. when you get old, it just seems like that eating... Eating stuff you love is like a sport. You know, it's like our favorite type of recreation. Yeah. Would you rather live three, four more years or not? <laughs> or not. I'm trying to envision life without sugar <laughs> for three years or not. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm weak. So, by I, the I'm way, not. yeah. So, the next 40 days, I am participating in Lent, and I am giving up sugar or sweet things, basically, um, desserts and that kind of thing. And it's... It's going okay. I've gone two days already, or three. But uh, black coffee, it don't taste good. <laughs> For our viewer video question today, we're going to Carla, and she's from Texas. Hi, Jerry and Linda. This is Carla in New Braunfels, Texas. Since y'all been in the villages for about five years now, what all activities, classes, clubs, etc., have uh, y'all all participated in in the past five years? Uh, did some fall by the wayside, or there's some that you've stuck with? I'm just curious to know, what are your favorite activities after five years, and do you still do them? Um, my husband, Vince, and I are ardent watchers, and we really appreciate your helpful videos. We'll be back in the villages the end of April for our second lifestyle visit, so we'll see you when we get there. Thanks. Carla, that's a good question. Um, I, we've tried a lot of things. You know, what have we done and kept up with, and mm -hmm. what have we stopped doing? Well, I mean, I've tried uh, water volleyball, but I don't do it much because yeah. it's a little humiliating when, to be yelled at by a 75-year-old woman. Uh, but um, pickleball, you know, that's I've, I've tried that too. I like it. I like them all. I like yeah, the water volleyball too, but, but I'm editing all the time, and, yeah. and it's not a job for me. I love to do it. I love to go out and find interesting things to show you folks. So that's really my main form of recreation yeah. is getting out there and and finding new stuff in the villages to share with you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I like, uh, you know, remote control helicopters. So I've gone to, to yoga with her, which I, I, I'm going told her yesterday, I'm going to do some, uh, some of that gentle yoga. Yeah, that's a good class. Gentle yoga. Um, we did used to play, we did used to, we used to play, um, bocce and we had a whole Well, group. we still play big, bocce big when, we have, when yeah. we have people we over. We had but. a league and that was a lot of fun, but it, that got a little bit hard to deal with all the different couples and some were in, some were out and we tried to do substitutes, but that was kind of, that was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed that. So I'd like to do that again. And swimming. We swam a lot, mm -hmm. but yeah. right now, I mean, the trip to and from the pool is a little bit, woof, Yeah. so we don't do that. Yeah. But today is nice. Yeah. We, we are going to, yeah. but I just, just when the temperature outside is 70 or a little below, I don't yeah. really feel like. Yeah. Uh, I still do my stretching class occasionally, and I do bunko occasionally, and I'm playing samba. So, and I'm, we played golf the other day. So we're still doing some village activities. Yeah, they're there when you want them. Yeah, and that's the beauty about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, if you join a league and it's every Monday at eight, you're you're bound to every you're Monday bound. at eight a.m. to go to that league. Yeah. You know, so we kind of like it that we can pick and choose what yeah. we're going to do. We like to go to the movies. Yep. You know, we're going to go to some estate sales. We've done that, and we like to do that. That's right. Hang around with our friends, just uh, chat, go out to eat, go to, to the square, listen to play music. games at, right at this table. We play games with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess we love to do them all. Yeah. She's more structured than I am. Yeah. Here is a question. This one is from Tony Ruzala. One thing I wish I had done before I moved my belongings here was to paint the garage floor. I'm from the north, and painting the garage floor and driveway is something that isn't done. You know what? That is one of the very nicest upgrades in this house. The garage floor is a an epoxy finish, and things wipe up. You get a drop of oil, it wipes right up. Back in Indiana... If we got oil on the garage floor, it soaked in and it was a big dark spot. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you, you sweep, but it's hard to sweep on a floor that doesn't have... Yeah. And, we, you know, we tried Thompson's water seal and things like that. Yeah. But the time to do it is, like he said, before you, before move. you move in. Yeah. 
everything's clean, it's clear, yeah. you can do it. Now, if we wanted to do it, well, I mean, I've got a workbench, I've yeah. got just tons That's of things major. that I have to move. I really like it too because it's clean and I can walk out there barefoot. And you'll find me every once in a while with my uh, my floor cleaner and I will clean that floor just as if I'm cleaning my kitchen floor. That's with epoxying. Water. Mm -hmm. It's the way to and go. That's what I like to go out there, tiptoe out my bare feet. So it's, it's a really lovely upgrade. It does feel good on the bare feet. And mm -hmm. you just don't feel dirty when you walk back no, in your house like no. you do on yeah, concrete. Right. Now, that was done before we moved here. Mm -hmm. But we've since had the fellow come back and do some other work for us. His name is Edison, and his business is called Edison Concreations. He also has been very fair and is a true professional. His name is also on our list of preferred providers. We don't, we've never gotten a free thing from us. We just, I mean, it's just, he's just good and he's we want to share him with you. So uh, you can call him if you have a driveway problem or you need resealing or you want an epoxy floor or that right. kind of thing. This is from Steve and Mary, the village of St. John's. Hi, love your show. With spending the first five years of your retirement living in Indiana, what made you decide to move to the villages? Was it five it's years? It's an old story. We, yeah. We've, it's uh, more than five years. Probably six ago. years ago. Yeah. We were, at that time, 62. Mm -hmm. And we had thought, will we be able to clean out our attic and our, yeah. our garage and get up our basement and all that 10 years from now? Right. Because, you know, we, we felt good then. And we still feel good. But you never know what you'll feel in the future. So we thought, let's tackle this project, clean up our house, get it all organized. And then we started looking for a vacation home just for a few months a year. That's what we were wanting to do. And uh, we got scared of hurricanes. Yeah. yeah. And we actually came down on a, vi uh, a visit to see some of our friends here. That's right. And they were about 30 miles north. And we checked out the villages and we were blown away. We, yeah. were, we, we loved everything about it. Yeah. So it wasn't like we had a nagging desire to move. We just came here and saw how these people were living and we decided to join the club. We didn't want to miss out. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and we don't regret it. You know, it, it's not for everybody, but it, it was for us and uh, yeah. we've loved it. it. It wasn't a conscious thing. We said, you know, hey, let's move to Florida. It just kind of, kind of. Yeah, it was kind of weird, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just like, boom. You know, it was one of those go. meant to be kind of things. Yeah. Our, our, yeah. cleaning up our home with no intent to sell it, then it sold to the first person that looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the closings were one day apart on this home and that home up there. Yeah. So it was all just beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. we're happy we did it. We are. Very happy. A feller. That sounds kind of funny. A feller. A feller. That from, uh, <laughs> uh, he said he was watching a local Florida Realtors YouTube show and made the comment that if you purchased a used home in the villages, it still has a bond balance on it, and you plan to only live in that home a year or two, just don't pay the bond and it'll pass on to the next homeowner. Well, you can't do that because uh, if that's not due, you'll, you'll get a lien on your property. Mm -hmm. But the bond can pass to the next owner. If you own the home two years, you pay two years' worth of the bond payments, and then, then it will pay, the, the rest of the debt will pass on to the new owner. Mm -hmm. But boy, moving is a hassle. I don't know why you would ever move somewhere for a year or two on purpose. Yeah. That yeah. would be rough. You might have a certain circumstance, but but yeah, that bond is going to transfer to the homeowners until somebody pays it off. Mm -hmm. In our case, we were so lucky. The guy that owned this home was only here less than three years, but he paid that bond 100% off. Yeah. yeah, we were very lucky. And very I know they, they tacked that on to the purchase price yeah. that we paid somewhat, but it's kind of just freeing knowing you don't have it. Right. This is from Ray and Laurie. I'm trying to convince my wife to consider the villages. She says she's concerned that Florida has a lot of bugs and mosquitoes. Is that a real problem? This came up last night. We were with a couple last night, and uh, they are from way out west and where north. Where are they from? North Dakota. North Dakota. And, you know, they were talking about the bugs. They were lots of bugs. And I said, you know, we had lots of bugs in Indiana. Here? Not so much. We don't see them. Of course, they're, they're spraying for them in our yards. And then Jerry says, what, every once in a while, the community, the mm. wildwood community will come and spray with a great big sprayer. But we do not see a lot of bugs. Little mosquitoes every once in a while, but you really don't see big giant mosquitoes. Well, you, like we said, we didn't treat it up in Indiana. So yeah. we had, in yeah. our home, we had centipedes. Yeah, we did. Those, those are nasty. We lived in the woods. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. crickets, those big old cave crickets. Yeah. Are, those big, yeah. We 
We probably should have done more with our pest well, yeah, we, control. Well, we did, I, I did it myself once in a while, yeah, but yeah. you know what? You know when you do that is after you see the bugs, and then they've already laid eggs and yeah, everything. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But no, no, it's not a big problem here. No, it's not. It really isn't. But you know, we know that after seven o'clock or eight o'clock, you go inside. We don't want to stay out late, and uh, you can start to feel a little pinch every once in a while in the summertime. But it's not that bad. It really isn't. You know, we usually have either a bubble wrap or an Ask Amy, but we're not having either one this week because we're going to bring you a new feature that she and I decided to have once in a while. We won't have it a lot, but uh, we're going to bring you Jerry and Linda at the movies. It's time for Jerry and Linda at the movies. We went to Sumter Landing. The Old Mill Playhouse, that's the only one of the three original movie theaters that's still in operation. We saw the new movie, Argyle. Now, that's kind of a comedy spy movie, would you say? I, I do. I think that's correct. It runs a little bit over two hours. It's jam-packed with action, and uh, there's some recognizable stars in that. Yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard is the leading lady in that movie, and she may not ring a bell with you. But that's Ronnie Howard's daughter, mm -hmm. Opie Taylor. That's his daughter. She's a grown-up woman, <laughs> and she plays the lead in uh, in that. And the male lead, is, there's a couple guys. One is Sam Rockwell. He's a very accomplished actor, and uh, he plays one of the leads. And the other lead is Henry Cavill. Mm -hmm. You know who Henry Cavill is? Uh, he was uh, Superman. He played Superman, and uh, he also played The Witcher. Yes. So uh, he's a really good actor. And let's see, Samuel L. Jackson's in the movie. The lady from Home Alone. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, is it? I think. The lady from Home Alone. Yeah, the mother. John Cena's in that movie. Yeah. And uh, there's a little part by Dua Lipa, which she, she, uh, she's the one in all the advertisements in the gold dress. Oh, yeah. She's kind of a hottie. Yeah. <laughs> was, I loved the movie. Jerry was going like this about it, but I really liked it. Uh, at the end of the movie, I was going, whoa, my head's spinning. I don't know who is good, who is bad, because it's a spy movie. Yeah, there's a lot of twists and turns. Trust? Who do you trust? But I enjoyed it thoroughly. The least, uh, the, the main actor, again, was Bryce Dallas Howard, and mm -hmm. she is an author in the, in the video. We're not going to give too much away. Um, but she writes books about this action hero. His name's Argyle. And there are some twists and turns. And yeah, yeah. when you think you got it figured out, you realize you didn't have it figured gotta out. Got to pay attention. But yeah, you got to pay attention <laughs> when you watch it. And it's good. Um, what do you give it? You give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? I thumbs up. You do? I, I do. I'll give it a thumbbs up I too. Do. I Two thumbs up. <laughs> Three. <laughs> As we always do, we ask you to please check out our webpage, jerryandlinda.com. That's where you're going to find our latest videos. You're going to find our playlists. You know, if you want to look for a, a uh, an activity to do, we've got them listed by uh, day trips. We've got interview, another section. We've got mailbag Mondays. We've got riding with Jerry and Linda, cart rides and uh, uh, bicycle rides. So check that out, www.jerryandlinda.com. That's also where you'll find those preferred providers on the page. Jeff Core wondered if we ever did... Mailbag Monday in a single take. So no editing. Is that your goal? We can't really do that, Jeff. We want to. We would love to. But we're surrounded by a sea of papers here. So we can remember. <laughs> you remember last week. Uh, what we're going to tell you. And after we finish, when you see the little fade out and fade in, it usually means that I've had to find another yeah. thing to uh, spur my memory to the next article. So we always edit a little bit, but think about that. When, when I bring you the Jerry and Linda at the movies or video questions from viewers, you know, I've got to plug all those in. Then we usually do an out and about and I have 15 or 20 little videos I've got to splice into that. So it would be impossible for us to do it with no editing. And that's what takes me so long to do it on the weekends. We're always doing that kind of thing. Yeah. When you see those names that are scrolling across the screen, yeah. You know, we, we keep a list of those and we have to go type those in afterward and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I wish we could do it with no editing. Well, 
Well, when we do our live shows, there's yeah, no editing. That's what I was getting ready to say. Our live shows is totally different, and uh, we I enjoy those. I didn't think I would, but it, you're you're done with it. You do it, you're done with it, and you don't have to worry about it. He doesn't have to sit hours and hours and hours. But there's more content in Monday's shows, and then some of our Thursday shows we do are has a lot more content. This question, I'm very curious about the pros and cons of solar tubes. From a light perspective, I see the benefit, but I'm assuming anytime you cut a hole in the roof, there are some potential negatives. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and also get an idea of approximate cost for each one. Well, we have three. Uh, they're not skylights. A skylight is a hole in the roof and the light comes straight in. Solar tube we have one right here in the kitchen. That actual hole in the roof is on the other side of the house. And they have really super uh, reflective yeah. material that comes down to that. And it is bright. Right now, when you look at it, you would swear there's a light on in, the, in there, but there's not. Now, at night, we actually have a battery pack up in there that stores light during the day. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a night light out at night. So it's all of ours have that feature. Yeah. And it's available uh, light 24 hours a day. That's why you don't want to put it over your bed no. or in the middle of your living room yeah. if you want to relax because yeah. you would have a bright light all day long. Right, right. We have added hours to the kitchen, which was kind of a, 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 a kind of a very a dark area, and then in the laundry room and in our closet. And uh, we love it. We love all those areas. That really added a lot. In fact, I hardly ever turn on the uh, laundry room lights ever. It's so bright. You might think that being in Florida with all the sunshine that our houses are bright and sunny, and no. they're not. No. Because in our case, we have a covered lanai, which blocks yeah. sun, mm -hmm. and a covered front porch that blocks sun. And we have plantation shutters in the house. So yeah. it's actually a little dim in these homes unless you do something to brighten it up, and that's what these do for us. Mm -hmm. As far as cost, they cost about $800 a piece. So three of them is somewhere between two and three thousand dollars, but we like them and uh, we feel it's a nice upgrade for anybody's home. Never had a leak. They have a a big flange that goes around the outside, and the shingles are are over them, and uh, I think it's uh, waterproof. We haven't had a not, not a drip. Scams are one of the largest problems for senior citizens because so many people want to take advantage. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that this week somebody has obtained our credit card. Mm -hmm. She went out early in the morning and got gas. And before you know it, there were stock charges being made on our credit card in San Francisco, California. Mm -hmm. And we had several of them before we actually shut down that card, which I hate because I like to memorize the card and have it up here, you know, and be able to rattle it off when you need it. And now I got to trying to remember a new number, which I don't like to do that. But I just hate that. I hate I hate uh, crooks and don't like it when, when that happens. But there are other scams as well. And this, look on your screen. This past month, these are just a few of the scams that I've had come through our emails. Look at these things. They come looking like you've signed up for something or you've bought something or you're being charged and they offer you a way to investigate it. Call here if this is not accurate. Well, what they want to do is get you on the phone and get you talking. Some of them go so far as just to record you saying yes. When, you, when they get that word yes on the phone, it, they're able to take that and do things. I guess I just said it for them right there. If they want to take it off this recording. Christmas. No, no, no. But I would say we've had a dozen of these in the last month, these emails that that says, uh, did you authorize this transaction? Well, no, I didn't. And they know I didn't, but they want me to get in there and try to fix it. And in that course, I'll talk to a service agent that will get into our computer and try to find out some things. So people don't trust any of them. We've gotten one from Amazon. It wasn't Amazon. We've had it from Spectrum. It wasn't Spectrum. Oh, FedEx. FedEx says your package has been detained. Call here to straighten it out. It wasn't FedEx. Oh. You know, it, it just, it's happening more and more and more. So our advice to you is if you get an email and you're not 100% sure it's legit, assume it's not and try to do a roundabout. 
Like for instance, if it's something due on a charge, go to your credit card. There's a number on the back. Call that number and you know you've got the right number. The other ones are not. And by the way, if you see an, an email that comes from Amazon.com, click on the details and you might see really that it came from John Doe in Fresno, California. They try to hide that. They put uh, false addresses on there to trick you. Just try not to fall for those scams. I just feel terrible when people get tricked. Well, it's time for the entertainment in the villages. I am so thankful to be here in the villages. There's so much to do and so much to see. And this past weekend was Mardi Gras. And boy, was that a fun time. We did take a little video around the, around the square in Sumter Landing. And that was so much fun. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a great time. Many people enjoyed that. Well, coming at the theaters or the entertainment centers, uh, at the Savannah Center, tonight is the return of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And that's at 7 o'clock. That'll be a fantastic show. And then tomorrow night, uh, if California Transit Authority with uh, Danny um, Seraphine, and he's of Chicago. So that's going to be super. Yeah, Chicago used to be called the Chicago Transit Authority. Yeah, yeah. And then this Wednesday, uh, the show, My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm in Therapy. That would be a fun show. And this Friday, Ricky Nelson remembered, starring Matthew and Gunnar Nelson. Yeah, that, yeah. that's those are his kids. I remember Ricky Nelson. Yeah. He was the kid on that Ozzy and Harriet that's show. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And also this Sunday, we went to this show last year. Gary Lewis and the Playboys with Rocky and the Rollers. That's going to be wonderful. I don't think we're going to go. But listen, if if you're a fan of that type of music from yeah. the 1960s, Herman's Hermits, Gary Lewis. Yeah. He does a fantastic job, yeah. and he was so nice to talk to. I, I think you should consider going to that if you like that kind of music. That's on Sunday. He's a big time. He's on that cruise right now with Rocky and the Rollers. Right, I right. think they leave today for that uh, big Caribbean cruise yeah. with uh, Shana Na and oh, so, many, so many cool performers. What fun. Yeah. Time for Out and About. After we saw the movie Argyle, we walked across the street, Sumter Landing, to Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is in the motif of an old soda shop. Right. Yeah. And it's got the spinning stools and the, the little... Black and white. Uh, yeah, black and white uh, theme and the yeah. little uh, jukeboxes on the tables. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't work. She said they stopped working about a... Six months ago, or, or they they turned them off or whatever. But that's they're kind of neat. Mm -hmm. I noticed that it was five cents a play. That's probably why they turned it off. No, oh, <laughs> wouldn't make any money. <laughs> but it's nice. Uh, we ate inside because it was a little bit chilly. But we have also gone up there before and eaten out on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. They have little tables, and you can watch the people walk by, and that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done that. We both had the classic cheeseburgers. They come with a special sauce, lettuce, onions, tomato, and we had cheese on them. French fries are included. I decided to upgrade to crispy tater tots, and I asked for them extra crispy. I'm sorry I did because that cook really took that to heart. Very seldom do they do that. They're usually not crispy, but this guy did it, and I'm not mad at him because I ordered them extra crispy, and... That's what he did. They were almost like pretzels. <laughs> they're better for throwing than they were for eating that day, but, but that was my own fault. I've had them there before, and they're actually quite yeah, good. Yeah. My fries were good, and the burger was tasty. But I had water, but Jerry ordered iced tea, and he wasn't very fond of the iced tea. No, some people, uh, and it's just what you like. You know you know how I am. I, I don't like peach tea or, yeah. or lemon tea. I like straight old tea, and uh, this was lemoned up or peached up or something. <laughs> So uh, I, I didn't like the tea, and I sent it back. But overall, it's it's a neat place. It's a theme place, you know. And it was a good meal. Um, a nice place to end our movie date. It was nice. The bill came to about $26. And after tip, the lunch for two was a little bit over $30. Johnny Rockets at uh, Sumter Landing. The word jumble. Last week... The answer to the puzzle was the Old Mill Playhouse. There it is again. We just, we've just been talking about it. And the clue to this week's puzzle is the preferred mode of transport in the villages.
remember, if you know the answer, don't put it in the comment section. Just kind of let us know that you got it because we don't want to spoil it for other people that are trying to work it out. It's time for sweet and salty. I'll start with the salty this time. We'll finish up on the sweet. Okay, that's good. Want to do that? Yeah. This is from Patty4709. Patty says, too many village residents doing videos. We're all so bored and will not be moving to the villages. Well, Patty, I have to agree with you on the first part. Yeah, there are too many of them. <laughs> no more. Yeah, too many people doing videos. If you're bored, uh, I guess she's saying she's bored with us. Because if you're in the villages, if you're bored, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. You know, you, you wouldn't be bored if you lived here. You no. probably wouldn't be writing nasty comments. You'd be playing volleyball or, mm -hmm. or cards or stretching yeah. it out or whatever. But, uh, Patty, we, we get you. Too many village residents doing videos. And I'm sorry you're bored. But uh, do a lifestyle preview. I bet you're not bored on that. What do you have? I have a sweet comment from Randall Casto in Maryland. Just know that you touch people in their lives in positive ways you will never know. May you both continue in good health and safety. I may never have a chance to see you when I get there, but please know that your journey in life is shared from a distance. Oh, That's very, very nice. Very nice, Randall. Thank he you. He signed it. Blessings to you both. Yeah. Yeah, that you know, that's probably our favorite kind yeah. of comment to get when the people tell us that uh, they're not going to move here, but they still enjoy watching. Yeah. So you know, that means probably Patty. That probably means we're not that boring to some people. <laughs> but uh, we've had an abundance of nasty comments over the last two days. Why? I don't know. Why? I th you think it's you? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, we've had some really salty comments. Yeah. Some of them too salty to put on the air. You should see my your salty comments. My salty bin over there that I keep mm -hmm. some of them in. Yeah. No, no, no. It's time for shout outs. When we get cards and letters, we often try to put them back here so people will recognize them. And then our big heads get in the way, and sometimes <laughs> you don't see them. But. Uh, we get some cool things, and today, L Linda I, picked this up at Bargains and Blessings. Yeah, I went in to work today, or I don't work, it's volunteering, and Rhonda Betcher made this for me and Jerry, and on the back it says the village is newcomers, and, or newcomers, and so how sweet is that? Someone to take their time out of their life to paint a rock for us. And that's and good. Look I at that. That is it. really good. Absolutely love it. That is just going to be treasured, and we're going to put it in a beautiful place. I'm not sure I'm going to put it outside. No. That's going to stay inside because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it even has gizmo in there. And those names that you've seen scrolling at the yeah. top, those are friends of our channel. Mm -hmm. And like we always tell you, there's a lot of ways to be a friend of our channel. But mostly once you bump into us wherever we are. If we're at the movies or we're out to eat or we're walking down the street. We snap pictures with us a lot. Yeah, of we, we then we consider you friends. And we we think we're lucky to have so many wonderful friends. We so. are very lucky. We bumped into Tom and Allison up at uh, Sumter Landing on the boardwalk. They were a super nice couple and they live in the village of Dabney. Judy Carl sent us a picture of her family and meeting at the Waterfront Hotel, and that's a good-looking group. Yeah, and she also messaged us on uh, Facebook yesterday, okay. so we're going to hear more from Judy Carl, but that is a nice-looking family. Sure they, is. You can tell they're related. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Terry and Michelle are from Kansas City. They've visited the village three times and say that they're probably going to start building a home real soon. Oh, that's wonderful. Here are Paige and Claude Guzman. We met them at Brownwood, and we enjoyed talking with them and their loyal viewers. This is JT and Bethany. They're from Colorado. They recently moved here, and they live in the village of Lake Denham. JT is a sports chiropractor, and he was the team chiropractor for the Denver Broncos. How cool is that? Pretty awesome. Here are Florence and Dennis. She says Dennis is a big fan and recently celebrated his birthday. So we'd like to take this opportunity to say happy, happy birthday, birthday, Dennis. <laughs> and Florence says they're counting down the days until they can retire right here in the villages. 
That's going to do it for this week's edition of Mailbag Monday. On Thursday, we're going to have a good show for you. So be sure and hit that little bell. And that will remind you every time we put out a video. You won't miss a single one. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook. Until next time. See you when you get here.